Good morning. Tips training on lab quality management system for quality manager. The module 2 that is organization class 4 and 4.1. Now the class 4 the management requirement pertain to the operation and effectiveness of the quality management system within the laboratory. The management requirement that is a class 4 is having a sub clause that is a 4.1 organization. Now there is a various requirement for this clause 4.1 that is the organization in which some, some of them are the laboratory or the organization of which the lab is an entity can be held legally responsible. Now for this lab must have a shop act as per the 1948 inspector general act and lab shall have a factory license also. Lab must carry out its testing calibration to meet the requirement of IS 17025 and to satisfy the need of the customer. The lab must do the testing and calibration as per the requirement of the customer. It is very important that the lab has to define the scope of the laboratory. The system shall cover for the permanent facilities at site away from its permanent facilities or in association with the temporary facilities. Lab shall appoint a quality and technical manager and deputies. For this, lab must choose the most experienced person who is having a knowledge on the quality management system and having a training on the lab quality management system as a quality manager and the technical manager shall be a person who is having a technical very sound and know about all the technical requirement of the laboratory. Lab must ensure that the staff are free from any undue internal and external commercial, financial and other pressure and influences. Lab has to define its policies and procedure to ensure the protection of its customer confidential information and proprietary right. It is very important that the lab must define the management and organization structure. Define the responsibility, authority and interrelationship of all the personnel. Provide adequate supervision of testing and calibration for all the lab person working in the lab. Ensure personnel are aware of the relevance and importance of their activities. For that lab must provide a job description for all the staff member of the lab. Now I have a summary for the organization that is clause 4.1. Lab must appoint a quality and technical manager and its deputies. Ensure the person are free from commercial, financial pressure and influence that may affect their work. Client confidential information, property rights, electronic storage and transmission of results. Competence, impartiality, judgment, and integrity. Organization chart indicating relationship between quality manager, technical manager, and its supporting services. Ensure that the appropriate communication process regarding the effectiveness of the management system. Provide adequate supervision of testing, calibration, staff, including trainees. And quality manager has a direct access to the highest level of uh, management. Awareness of contribution to achieve the objective communication on the effectiveness of the management. This is one of the example of uh, organization structure of the laboratory in which you can see that the lab is having a, uh, that quality manager is having a direct access to the plant head. In this organization structure, there is a quality manager, technical manager, and deputy quality manager and deputy technical manager. This is one of the example of the appointment letter of a quality manager and technical manager. 
apart from their routine responsibilities the quality manager must have some other responsibility which includes a plant internal plan internal annual audits prepare quality manual and procedure and approve work instruction maintain all documents pertaining to annual lies with external parties on matter relating to annual like that the technical manager is having some responsibilities the carry out uncertainty of measurement studies and inter lab comparison approve test reports and maintain record of the same deal with all the technical requirements related to lab and this is the example of responsibility and authority for a quality manager and this is the example of a declaration form of impartiality confidentiality and operational integrity which a lab must taken from all the staff member of the lab this is one of the example of the scope of a core lab in which you can see that the specific test and type of test performed by the lab in the second column you can see that the specification standard method or technique used in the third column you can see the range of testing limit of detection and the next uh, the last column which indicates the measurement of uncertainty uh, at 95% confidence level thank you